This is Field Sports Channel News. Armed police in a helicopter confronted a shoot in Somerset after they were called by an auntie who reported that houses were being shot at. These mobile phone pictures were filmed by Field Sports regular Ollie Williams as he and six friends were legally pigeon shooting in the early evening. Ollie and his pals were on private land shooting with permission when they were confronted. Avon and Somerset Constabulary has been contacted for a comment but has not yet got back to us. Ollie takes up the story. What we didn't expect was when we got back to the cars, um, there was a police helicopter uh, hovering over our car. Uh, in the field. So as we go down the, the, down the farm track, back to the farm, off the sort of the hill, uh, the policeman helicopter is literally hovered at sort of 200 feet, just following us down the down the road. Uh, sure enough, when we get down to the, the, the in front of the yard, uh, a Volvo slams slams across us, almost hits us, uh, and cuts us off as we're trying to get into the yard. We're like, what the hell? Sirens, you know, blue lights, you know, stay in the car, um, and it's the armed police. They clearly have no idea of the law um, uh, around shooting on private ground because I was chatting away to one chap, the driver of the car, at the window, and he, and he was like, well, why are you shooting at night? You know, what, what, what are you doing? Um, so clearly, completely unaware that uh, with permission you can shoot at any time of the day um, within sound reasons, of course. This was actually five o'clock in the evening um, and it was a dusk shooting pigeons. So, um, yeah, clearly no idea of the law whatsoever. Welsh farmer Gareth Wynne Jones says he has evidence that foxes are being microchipped before being released into the countryside. A video clip sent to Gareth by a Scottish gamekeeper shows a dead fox being scanned and the scanner detecting a microchip. Gareth believes they may be animals captured in towns and cities before being released into the wild. We think it's not illegal, but it's something that people shouldn't be doing. If you're bringing a fox from a city into the countryside he's going to be definitely or she's going to be definitely struggling because they can be scavenging in bins and you know eating cat food from backs of houses and they put them into the countryside and they're literally then sitting ducks the scottish government has announced a new consultation which could change the face of deer management under plans revealed this week, Nature Scott has announced changes which include enabling outside agents to enter private land to manage deer. It also proposes five-year cull plans and changing licences to allow specific culling of deer where they're causing damage. Basque Scotland acknowledges that Scotland's deer population has grown in some areas. It fears the new consultation isn't taking into account that there are already 8,000 licensed deer stalkers in Scotland. The Scottish Government has launched a consultation into major changes for deer management here in Scotland. Key themes include compliance, deer welfare and the selling of venison. Basque has concerns about numerous proposals outlined in this consultation, namely the inclusion of deer management nature restoration orders, which would give additional powers to Nature Scott. We're also disappointed that there is no mention of community integrated deer management, a flagship policy of Basque which would give stalkers access to stalking on publicly owned land. Basque will be robustly responding to the consultation in due course and in addition providing additional briefing to our members to help them complete the consultation. The Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust has made the case for fox control in new research aimed at protecting wading birds from predation. Mike Short, head of predation management research, says GPS tags placed on 35 foxes to monitor their movement and behaviour highlighted the extent of the damage they caused to other wildlife. They carried out the study in the Avon Valley in Hampshire. It showed 61% of new lapwing nests failed and that 82% of those failures were caused by predation. Shooting businesses are being treated like sex workers in the debanking scandal, according to the city regulator. The Financial Conduct Authority says that complaints from both industries about banks shutting their accounts show the challenges for businesses that it says may divide wider opinion. Basque hit back at the FCA. The shooting organisation says that just because a very small minority of people oppose shooting does not make it a reputational risk. It comes after shooting clubs, syndicates and gun shops said they are being treated like criminals by big name banks. A wildlife trust confirms that pine martins are breeding in the New Forest. 
These pictures from the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust confirm the animals, which were once believed to have disappeared from southern forests, have now re-established. Trust workers reviewed more than 10,000 hours of trail camera footage to make the discovery. Pine martins are one of the most voracious predators for ground nesting birds and small mammals in the UK. Great Britain shooting star Rob Hall has announced he's closing the East Yorkshire clay shooting grounds. Rob and his family have run the ground since 2019. He announced the decision to close it on social media. Rob and his late father shot DTL for England for many years. Rob's daughter Lucy was the under 17 European champion in 2021 and is also an Olympic hopeful. An historic North Yorkshire estate is to replace heather burning with peat free compost. The 7,000 acres of the Barningham estate near Richmond has been owned by the Millbank family since the 1700s. Sir Anthony Millbank was one of the co-founders of the Moorland Association. The estate has been given £400,000 of government funding needed to change heather burning practices into creating peat-free compost instead. Some estimates put cutting heather at more than £100 an acre, compared to much cheaper heather burning. Both create fire breaks, encourage regrowth, which is good for ground nesting birds, and burning doesn't damage underlying peat. Authorities in the US have approved plans to remove mute swans from a lake and they're considering a cull. Mute swans are an invasive species in America and a scheme to relocate them in 2022 has failed to solve the problem. The birds perceived as a threat to other wildfowl, including native trumpeter swans. Thanks to Mark Corney for the story. And finally, do you want to buy a skeet range that's part of rock history? ZZ Top's late bass player Dusty Hill put his Texas mansion up for sale and it has a skeet field in the backyard. The 78-acre property at College Station between Houston and Dallas is on the market for $4 million. Dusty died in 2021, aged 72. You are now up to date with Field Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts.